Hello there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to today's video all about how to pass your upcoming ACCA law exam, that's the F4 paper with 65%, some top student tips, along with how my lovely guest Danielle passed it doing another exam. Well, we are in esteemed company today where we're going to get a, a walk and talk through masterclass, how to go through it, and I'd like to welcome Danielle, so feel free to introduce yourself. Yeah, hey guys, um, I'm Danielle. I am based in Aberdeen, Scotland. It's sunny Scot Aberdeen, Scotland right now, which is uh, not the norm, <laughs> I can assure you. Um, so yes, as James said, I pass law alongside PM, actually. Um, so if you've not seen that video, check it out. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was in December, just passed. So yeah, so I'm currently studying my AC qualification through in currently within the applied skills level doing tax this june i'm my plan is to do audit in september fm in december and yeah i suppose how i came across james's channel so um law and pm actually were my first two exams so stumbled across james's youtube channel thank goodness <laughs> as of september and i've been hooked ever since and um, so yeah he's got some great videos with other students there as well so make sure to check them out <laughs> again like people are gonna think i told you to say that <laughs> Definitely didn't. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we, they've got the, the, the how to pass law, there's the examiner's report, which we can come on to later. Yeah. But students are there with their pen and paper, uh, Danielle. They, they, they want to hear how you got 65 along with studying for another exam. So, what, what are the first things that come to your mind straight away? Yes. Yeah. So firstly, just to put some, I suppose, context behind the two. Now, laws within the applied skills level. Um, to be honest, it's not as intense as the other um ones within the applied skills level you know if if you haven't done any applied skills exams yet law can be quite a good one um, and yep. as a starting base and also as well if you maybe considered doing two exams at one time in the applied skills level i definitely would recommend doing law alongside another one because it's it's not as intense as, as the other ones and um, as well actually i do know some people that like to keep law to the end i think just to have a little break before they go on to the the strategic professional exams and mm. um, so yeah completely up to you so yes for me how did i cope doing the two um now even in general doing two exams is i suppose juggling what ones you prioritize when yeah. so if i'm completely honest pm did i suppose take priority over law mm -hmm. um however within law what i would do is is i also work full time so i'm, I'm studying to on the side so what i would do is i would dedicate i only actually really needed two evenings a week doing law so i would work okay. in, work during the day and then come the evenings i would just go through each chapter within law and um, i didn't necessarily actually do questions all the time um with each chapter i would usually what i would do is is i would do a monday with with law and then tuesday and wednesday and thursday i would do pm and then come friday i would then attempt law questions um, and to be honest with law as well is you know there can be a lot of information however the questions usually repeat themselves and what they tend to ask you yeah. because they'll be key topics within each um chapter that they like asking you so um yeah that that was my approach anyway so monday i did law in the evening tuesday wednesday thursday i did pm come mm -hmm. friday i would do law but it was law questions yeah um, kind of thing. And yeah, in the, yeah. <laughs> there, there are only certain topics and certain areas yeah. that you sort of need to know on that and, and yes. just just to be crystal clear for the viewers uh, do, do you work it or have law in any aspect in your role when you're doing it or is it just sort of <laughs> studying law and then that was it yeah so um anti-money money laundering actually so i, I work in audits um in practice so uh obviously aml is quite a big big thing within audit so um yeah i was aware of that and bribery as well yeah. um uh but yeah to be honest law hasn't i haven't well, i'm an audit assistant so i haven't come across you know the big legal aspects and um quite yet and to be honest actually i have noticed so right now i'm studying tax mm -hmm. and one thing within in law was the um differentiation between employed and self-employed so mm -hmm. i learned that from law which i can now um apply to tax so there is actually some overlap between the applied skills um exams which is great but um yeah law is it sounds to be honest i was thinking law and i think oh my goodness this sounds so boring <laughs> but to be honest some of it is actually quite interesting mm -hmm. um so yeah Okay, that's all right. And and how long did you from from starting tuition to doing the exam? How long did you did you leave yourself? So I actually started studying PM before law, and um, mm -hmm. so I actually only had ten weeks from starting law to the exam. Right. So 
I had seven weeks of learning and then um, three weeks of um, revision. Yeah. So yeah. yes, and within my, to be honest, three weeks of revision, I think when it came to going back to chapter one in law, I completely forgot everything about the law, <laughs> to be honest. And, and being, yeah, being totally honest, I think that's a very natural thing, to be honest, that happened to a lot of students. And um, yeah, so that's basically how I did it. And for law, it, question practice is, is key, I think, because like I said, you, you kind of learn what they tend to ask you more with law. I think there's mm. there's more significant areas. Um, I mean, I'm not saying question spot, but you, you will under, the more questions you do, you'll think, oh, I've answered that question about five times now. So maybe they like asking that one. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah. And I, I also found from students I talk with about have just recently done law is that they'll break up the syllabus into different areas and, yeah. uh, and they may work in for that, just reporting, they may work in tax and they'll write down the syllabus areas on bits of paper and if they didn't know something, they'd, they'd write it under that bit and they consolidate it into different sector sections yes. on there. And yeah. it's just before the exam, they've got six or seven pieces of paper. They don't do law much on a daily or weekly basis, but they've got in front of them all the things they didn't know, yes. I would say, yeah. is a massive tip that will help anyone yeah. studying out on yeah. there. When I actually um, um, started my revision phase as well, is when I was doing my questions, the ones that I was getting, you know, repeatedly wrong, I would I would actually highlight a, di a different colour, so I knew, right, okay, those those are the ones I need to go over again, specifically mm -hmm. that topic, um, and yeah, that that did really help. <laughs> nice. And arcing back to the law exam, what sort of flooding back as to was it was it a time pressured exam? Were the things that came up that you didn't particularly uh, remember or no or how did you approach it um so time so in law compared to the rest of the applied skills exams um law is only two hours long mm -hmm. um so and to be honest i would i think the two hours is 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 completely fine i think i wouldn't say generous but i think it's it's definitely definitely doable within two hours um for sure and you even even then you actually well i certainly had time i think i was I had answered all the questions with about um an hour and 20 minutes so i had 40 minutes to, to go oh, over wow. over the questions yeah um which was fine and also with law compared to the other applied school exams you don't have a section c question so yeah um yeah so in terms of topics that came up i had uh um so you've got section a and section b in law mm -hmm. so your scenario based questions i had a scenario based question on bribery mm -hmm. um and I also had one on the difference between employment and self-employment. Um, and yeah, yeah, that, that definitely had that as well. There was definitely some questions as well, actually, that came up in my exam mm -hmm. um, that I hadn't come across in, in my revision when I was doing those questions. So um, that can happen, but you, you will find that it's you'll there'll be plenty of other questions that you'll have not necessarily done before but you've done similar ones yeah. um, and i mean i suppose that's the same to say in, in all of the apply skills exams but i specific, specifically noticed that in law especially actually and yeah. um, but i think i think law is one of the the higher passing ones as well so yeah um, I, I think it, it's, it's one of those where like you said you can do it with another paper but especially in section a i find um that, that there'll be answers just read it through logically and just take out the answers you go james that can't possibly yeah, be right. Yeah, yes. exactly. And and there'll always be little buzzwords or key areas in the requirement. Just take your time yeah. because they, they mentioned it in the external examiner's report that so many students make silly mistakes in section A. They just don't read it correctly. They don't understand what's going on, what type of law. So it can be get a bit time pressured if you yeah. go from one to the other. But just read it through and eliminate, I would say, on there. Yes probably what you did for your exam i guess yes <laughs> definitely on there all right and um in, in terms of question practice did you go through all the sort of revision books the cbe what was your sort of uh, approach on there to help someone out yes so um james i've briefly mentioned before but the examiner's report um, is great obviously it will it will highlight the areas that students necessarily didn't do so so well on so it will give you the topics you know um, and you, you often find actually it's it's all you sometimes think oh is this exam report you know just reprinted with a different year <laughs> yeah. because it seems sometimes the same topics again and again appear and as a result the examiner is going to test students on that until they thought okay 
they've got the picture now, they've, they've revised that enough, I'll test this area instead. So, um, yeah, the examiner's report definitely recommend that. And also the CBE platform in itself. So ACCA have great free resources. They have, um, they've got, they've called them practice exams and specimen exams. So mm. I did them on the platform and they aren't timed. So a crucial tip from me to you is to time yourself. Um, and for all the exams but definitely. yeah def definitely time yourself and you and you'll discover you know section b might take you longer which definitely took me longer and um, and from then you might think okay well if section b is going to take me longer i'll start with section b which is what i did i started with section b in my law exam and then did section a and um, so yeah and then yeah in terms of um, my question practice i i just did as many questions as i could and like i said i just highlighted those questions that i was getting repeatedly wrong and yeah. then revisited those areas um so yeah awesome yeah. and uh just just to add this may be the first exam that someone's doing in their acca journey on there and it was one of yours so what what sort of advice would you give to someone as to sort of getting into the rhythm using the free resources what bits of advice would you give someone if law is their first exam and they're a bit nervous going into it what what sort of flooding back from all those memories of, of it <laughs> well definitely watch james's videos <laughs> again he didn't he didn't pay for me to say that but no it is true it, it kind of puts you in some good stead but i think for me when being being my first exam i wanted to get as, as much information as, as the whole process in general acca do actually um offer three webinars so you'll have a what we call expert tutor and um, that basically goes through a mock exam or just share some the tips and tricks or talks about the exam process about the different sections in the exam so with law being section a and section b so also with studying PM at this, at this time, that was my my first go to was go to the ACCA website, mm. you know, read the technical articles, read just the whole process of, of how it was examined, etc. And then from there, that's when I then went on to my um, question practice. And even just sometimes typing into YouTube as well, ACCA law, you'll get videos from everywhere. Um, and you can learn other people's tips and tricks too. So yes, that's that's how how I approached it. <laughs> nice. And uh, and to add to that, I mean, how did you cope with the with the balance as well? Because obviously, we're yes. talking two exams, we're also yes. talking about this is your first exam, you're working mm -hmm. full time how did you balance it all as well that's the other key thing yes so um to be honest it would, would it be my first uh to i didn't really have a study life balance i discovered this i experienced burnout which um you'll see in another video but um i think in terms of balancing the two what to to prioritize like i was saying law it's it's not as intense as the other applied skills exams so you don't necessarily have to give as much time to law as you would do the the other ones for example in the other applied skills exam you have a whole section c that you don't have in in law so yeah. even practicing that is you're, you're gonna need a lot more time to do that and um, mm. so what i did is i worked it around my pm schedule but what i did was i looked in the calendar I thought my so my law day, my law exam was the 2nd of December and my P exam PM exam was the 8th of December so rotate dates in the calendar and then worked three weeks back from that so as a result because my law exam was before my PM exam I did actually have a few days that I was able to do law before I did PM mm -hmm. so some I never really covered uh, law and PM on the same day I would I would just do one day law, one day PM, etc. Um, and that worked for me. So, so, however, some people I do know would rather, you know, maybe do some an hour of law, give themselves a 20 minute break and then do PM, split it up that way, which is which is an option too. But for me, I, I prefer just to dedicate one evening to law, one evening to PM. Um, however, obviously it's very, it's a lot doing two exams, but try make sure that you do give some time to yourself as well. So you don't experience burnout as what I did. But yeah, um, yeah even, you know just take an hour, an hour or two out your day to go on a walk change of scene and yeah basically that's my that's how i did it <laughs> oh, awesome awesome i mean fantastic tips going through it today and yeah i think you've also some really sort of, sort of reassuring just sort of it will be okay yes it, it is a, it is a step up from working full time and then going into revision but but the law exams two hours as you said pm's three hours so there is yeah. there is a a, a slight it's more difficult on, on PM, yes. I would say, on that. And the pass rates, pass rate shirt for you. Yes, now, definitely. Are there any other final nuggets or tips of information, Danielle, that you go, I couldn't sleep tonight, James. It could be the difference. Is someone passing or not? 
<laughs> I would say honestly, believe believe in yourself that you can do it. You know, I think thinking of the ACC qualification, thinking, oh my goodness, I have 13 exams to do, right? Just focus on one exam at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's so true. I, I do this. It's quite embarrassing. But before I go to bed every night, I just say to myself, I will pass, pass a law exam. I will pass a law exam. And you're manifesting it. It will happen. You know, just, just say little things like that. Try and keep positive. And if there's days that you find you're doing some question practice and you're getting them wrong, that's okay. Remember, it's better to get things wrong now than in yeah. the exam. So yeah just just take each day as it comes and just break each problem that you come across and it, it will it will be fine you will manage it and yeah. remember if you put the hard work in it will yield results it's a marathon not a sprint isn't it it's exactly the, those mistakes <laughs> are the things that you know it will build you and uh, yes. give you that foundation knowledge going into it and and the other thing is that the the law knowledge and or whether it be fr audit these also pull into the yes. exams further on so if you're there going, oh, this is my first exam, I'm really nervous for it. Just take your time as you go through it, understand question practice. And uh, if you've got any questions for Danielle and myself, feel free to leave us any comments below. I'm more than happy to help on it. And it could be the difference in just getting that. What's it like getting that, that text, Danielle, or that email to say that you've oh, passed? It's invaluable honestly you can't even put money on it it's just like oh yes and it's, it's honestly the best the best feeling ever it's knowing you know all your hard work um has paid off and it will all your hard work will pay off um, so yeah rome wasn't built in a day as they say so <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic well um if you have enjoyed today's video guys be sure to give it a massive like and as well subscribe so you get access to all the free videos because if you're doing law then most likely you're gonna have to do the other ones as well so <laughs> you get access to all of those any final words of wisdom danielle for anyone who might have the law exam tomorrow who's watching this now you've got this you can do it i believe in you <laughs> If in doubt, if in doubt, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Answer all the questions, finish it, flag them all up, read them again, read them again. And then just, just remember, you're going to get 50 plus, I would say, on there. And it will happen, won't it? Yes, it will. <laughs> it's in the bag. Well, thanks very much, Lissy, guys. Have a sweet day and I'll see you soon. Cheers.